Paladins. The Udawa product starts on the defensive line. Benefield flares it out to Derek Crane, lowers his shoulder pads, and right in the area to pick up a first down. I Warren think and Willie. Leslie, the two linebackers for the Mox Pardue, the dime. Trying to flare it out near side. That's bobbled again, but caught and then hit around the 38. So no gain again. That's one of those. From the gun, play action, dropping back. Now forced from the pocket and hit and brought down all the way back at the 34-yard line. That'll be about a nine-yard loss. He escaped one. Shotgun, Derek Crane stands in back of him. Crane gets the call, goes straight up the middle, and he's got about 10 or 12. Right up the gun and passes the 20-yard line. I think that will give him just enough for him as of yet. Sends Stovall in motion, and Stovall gets the carry, trying to turn the corner far side, gets a block from a receiver, turns it upfield, and gets the first down. That didn't look like it was going anywhere until he got one final block, and there was just enough room after and the no score. Mox and Paladins. Benefield throws it on the run. He's got a receiver. It's up in the air, and C.J. Board with the catch. Touchdown, Chattanooga. He had two receivers on that far sideline, and there was only one defender. you got to like your odds. C.J. Board makes the catch, and UTC on the board at the 431 mark right at the 30-yard line. High snap, and it is blocked. And it is blocked, and so the box defense, they come through again. Little bit of a high snap, and so the woes continue for that Furman football team and the Will, I'll say this, kind of a happy sideline, wasn't it? Well, a happy sideline, and I'm not sure who that was. It may have been Keontae Davis in the middle, but somebody timed to jump perfectly and got all of that ball. That was a great play. For Furman, second down, hands it off far side, running room, far sideline, and handing off to the running back, C.J. Board, and Board easily picks up a first down. Three receivers far side, one on the near side, that's Stovall, Benefield to throw over the middle of the field, puts it on there, and there it is! James Stovall makes the catch inside the five-yard line. They lined him up at the tight end spot, and then had him sprint down the hash mark, cut it in near the post, makes it an Uga. Crane gets the call, middle of the line, sees an opening, lowers down shoulder pads. Is he in? That's the question, yes. Touchdown, Chattanooga. Fox, Derek Crane gets it in the end zone. His second touchdown run of the year. Chattanooga takes a 13-0 lead over the Paladin. Running back in back of him. He drops back, wants to throw, being chased again by Isaiah Mack and brought down back at the 15-yard line. They'll combine on the sack. Isaiah Mack slowed him down. And then for Chattanooga getting there, Nikivi and Leslie. <laughs> Starting right at the 30-yard line. Benefield drops back, wants to throw, has time. Slings it far side, one-on-one coverage up in the air, and it is caught. Holy cow. Caught over the shoulder by Xavier Borashadi. You talk about an inside shoulder pass. Dropped it right over that inside shoulder. Xavier Borashadi made the plan in the first half. Benefield slings it out far side, shot. He cuts it back inside the 10, struggles his way, gang tackled around the four or five yard line. There is a penalty flag down right at the line of scrimmage. And again, let's see what that's all about. That happened so fast. I can't imagine that flag from that position being anything. Benefield keeps and stumbles his way in. He was going down because no contact. And just dove at the end, saying, if I'm going down, I'm at least going to make a lunge to the end zone. He does. Alejandro Benefield with a rushing touchdown for Chattanooga. 44 again, a four-man front for Chattanooga. Hannon, boy, being rushed again and brought down. A Zaxby's sack back at the 35-yard line. And they were coming with gusto that time. I think Taylor Reynolds, who could have gotten the sack. For an onsider. And there it is. And it should be. And the box field it and go down immediately. Wise move. I'd say they've probably been coached in that area. And I think it was Alejandro Benefield yeah. that caught it. Yeah, it was. Benefield who catches it on that second hop. Final score, Mox win at 21-14. Chattanooga goes to 3-0 on the year.